Even after five years, you've still got to dance out the nerves before filming. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple foraging toy for your small pet. Now this is suitable for any small pet, although you will want to change the size depending on the animal you have. The materials you use for this toy depend on how confident you are in your DIY skills as well as what you have available to you. Now if you want to make this out of wood like I'm doing, you'll need two squares of wood measuring the same size. I have two pieces here measuring 20 by 20 centimeters. You're also going to need a drill and possibly a small hole cutter. Alternatively, you can make this out of cardboard, and so again, you will need two squares of thick cardboard measuring the same size, and you'll also need a pair of scissors or something to cut the cardboard with. And whether you're making it from wood or cardboard, you'll also need some non-toxic, child-safe glue. Begin by taking your two pieces of wood or cardboard and deciding which piece you want to use for the bottom and which piece you want to use for the top. The piece you want to use for the bottom can be put aside because we don't need to do anything with that right now. Now take your drill or scissors and start cutting holes of various sizes into your top piece of wood or card. The smallest holes you cut should still be big enough for your pet to fit their paw into without it getting stuck. This will just prevent any accidents from happening. Once you're happy with the number and size of holes in your top piece, you can bring back your bottom piece so we can join these two together. We're only going to use a small amount of glue just to make sure the two pieces are secured together. So take your glue and add a single blob to each corner, then put your two pieces of wood together and let the glue dry. Now your toy is ready for you to add in the treats. Use a wide variety of your pet's favourite foods and make sure they are different sizes so you can add the larger ones to the larger holes and the smaller ones to the smaller holes. Some optional extras if you want to make this toy a little bit more challenging include adding lids to each of the holes so your pet has to move them out of the way to get their treats and drilling holes in each corner and threading through some string so you can hang it from the top of your cage, making it into a swing forager. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.